What's up, friends? This is Jazz bringing you another episode of Digimon World BS. The last episode, we got to the silver rank. Now we're going to go to work towards going on the gold rank. Now, again, I apologize for the audio, but hopefully from now on, everything will be much better. The thing is, the only problem will be that I'm going to have to be very careful with what I record. Because I'm not going to be able to do as good of editing as I have before. Because I'm going to be live narrating everything. Every other episode of this. This should be the last post-narrated episode of this, so... Yeah, but to be fair, I'm not always the best commentator even with post-narrating. The biggest difference is... Well, obviously the biggest difference will be the audio sound and me being doing things at the top of my head and the lack of editing but I am going to try I think when I pause I'll be able to do things so interesting this is honestly the fourth time I've actually recorded this I had problems like with it like I did with the sims one last time so I don't know what went wrong at all it happens Life happens. And I really hope I'm going to be able to do this live narrating thing. Because if I'm able to get comfortable with doing that, then I could have a whole lot more done for my Let's Plays to start with. The only... Once I finish all the rest of the post-narrating for some of my other LPs, I got one or two parts of some others that need to be post-narrated because, you know, obviously... It hasn't been live narrated. But the only LP once all that is done that will probably be post narrated will be the Harvest Moon one. And if I do any LPs on the Wii, then that will be post narrated as well. So you'll, only, you'll have to get used to my wispy sound at the end of it. That's like the only problem. Because you're able to make out what I'm saying for the most part. It's just a little bit iffy type of thing. And I really sincerely do apologize, but I don't think it is my microphone. Any of them that are the problem. I think it is Camtasia Studio. I've noticed that, like, when I recorded The Walking Dead, it seemed okay and in sync and everything. When I was narrating with the webcam especially. That's what I'm going to be doing for, the, for this now on. I'm going to be using my webcam, but I'm not using the actual picture of myself. I am going to separate the video and audio in the editing process. That's the only editing notice, notice where you'll see. And you'll just get my voice. So I've done it before and it seemed to have worked before. And... I'm, oh, I'm a little nervous with doing that with the emulator games like this, but hopefully it'll eventually work out. So hopefully I won't have to worry anymore. I mean, yes, I know, like, I'm going to try to do as much narrating as possible. Oh boy, I need a level... I either need an egg or a high level, so there's no way I'm getting that done. I'm going to have to generate Gardramon into Kapurimon or Kapurimon. Good thing I can degenerate now. I mean, if I was able to digivolve the guy into the other ultimate, then I might have had a better off, a better chance, but, eh. But I'll admit, for several reasons, I'm a little nervous starting to... Once I start to live narrate. Because, for one, I might not... I mean, yes, I know I still sometimes have trouble with doing narration, even post-wise. But it's even harder when you have to do it all live and there's no way to edit it. Huh? Who are you? You must be... One Biomon sent. I'm your tamer from now on. 
tamer? I don't need a tamer. I hate people who think they know me. Wow, what a SOB. Yeah, I agree. What type of attitude is that? No, we have to go back, obviously. You have to go in and out of the farm for the next cutscene. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? This place is too cramped. I want to go where it's bigger and fun. Oh, I think there's a place called Steamy Jungle. Take me there. Steamy Jungle? Okay, sure. Hurry up and let's go. Well, he's interested in doing something with us. That's, that, that's a uh, thing. Yeah, we have to go to Steamy Jungle. We've, oh, yeah, we've been there before. So, this is Steamy Jungle. Yay, I'm going to go play. Uh, yeah, uh, what is he, like, what does he have, ADD or ADHD or whatever? Yeah, I'm just gonna go and raise my level for the Puri Mon, the Puri Mon. It's hard to pronounce his name. Because it's U-R, so it's either Pure or Pur. I think it could be Kapuri, because he looks kind of like a raccoon, like he's furry, right? Like a raccoon. So I don't know, like, my logic is not always correct. Alright, bye bye Carriermon. But whatever, his name is Kazu. Alright, level 30, wow. Wow. But, like, hopefully once I do everything, it'll become a more relaxed thing to do. Like, I want to enjoy this, right, as much as I can. And the problem with Camtasia and with everything is it's hard to edit when you have live narration. So, hopefully I can figure a way to work it, get, work it out. Like, maybe all I'll have to do is, like remove all three parts. Like, if I have to edit something out, I have to really carefully listen to what has to be edited out. But I will be using the pause option a lot during that, where I can have time to think if I need to stop, right? Alright. I'm going to have another battle and get the level up. But the one thing I'll have to focus on if I do a live narration is on the here and then, like, now. So I have to kind of be, what is it, quick, quick, quick thinking. Like, you know how Robin Williams was just, he was able to invent things right on the spot to make things funny. Like, that's something that I want to figure out how to do. There's a lot of different things I want to do on my channel, right? But for a reason or another, I'm still a little hesitant about them. Because I want to be able to continue what I'm doing with things, right? Like, I'm figuring out how to redo the For Better or For Worse series, because my microphone is... Well, no, my... The Camtasia is crap. So I might want to narrate it in another setting. No, he needs 50 stress, alright. So to... To digivolve into a champion, he'll need 50 stress. I'll have to think about that once I finish this area. Whatever. But anyway, back to what I was saying. I might have to use a recording software to record the audio for things like top tens and reviews. Ah, there he is. Oh, ouch, ouch. Well, I ate this flower, my tummy started... It... Die. What, what's going on? A, po a poison flower? We antidote... Oh, really? Wind has not been helpful for anything, really. Are you going to just leave me? Liar, you're going to abandon me, right? Abandonment issues, huh? 
fool me. I oh, you all say that and you end up leaving me all alone. So go ahead and leave me if you want. I'll get over it. The petting. Oh, uh, why? Why would you bother? Don't bother coming back for him there, Jazzy. Trust me, Pokemon is not worth it. it. He sucks. He has issues. But you're probably not going to be listening, are ya? You have the heart or you have the AI of the game. That you don't listen to my reasoning. We need to go back there. What? Well, I mean, why are we still helping him? He doesn't trust us. He doesn't want us. So why do we even... Just like in the Mystery Dungeon. Just like in the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon where Grovile says, If you can't trust me, why go with me? If, he, if Pokemon can't trust us, then why should we look after him? I think Bihumon is just a piece of work getting us to take care of this guy. Oh, well, there it is. Yeah. I don't want to touch this. I don't want to touch that thing. No, no, I don't want to touch that nut. Okay, that sounds wrong. In more ways than one. No, no, no. No. Ah, the bird! The bird! It's killing me! It's a nut! I'm allergic to that. Why, of all things, to cure that piece of work after something that would kill me in real life? I mean, why do I have to get to kill myself to save that run? But I guess we're going back, aren't we? Like, there's no way just to leave them? Abandon them like he said we would. That's not gonna fly, is it? I guess not. Oh, here you're ungrateful little thing. Uh, uh, of course. Yes, I did. I didn't want to, but the game made me. Oh, you're feeling better. That's wonderful. Oh, good. I'm so happy for you. Oh, should I feel bad or something? Well, good. Now let's go back. I don't want to think of anything else. Well, actually, we're going to have to think about how we digivolve some of these things. I mean, P Digimon, or... Yeah, I'm mean calling Digimon things. They actually have names. Let me say... I don't bond as, uh, with them as quick as... Pokemon. For more than one obvious reason. I mean, I use a lot more... of these Digimon than I do with my Pokemon when I make a team. So I try to use a lot of Digimon. So I don't really bond with them as quickly or as more. So we're back at the Digi Farm. I'm going to take some rest now. Yeah, let's hope. Oh, someone's there, Palumon? Ellie! Hi, Ellie! I went to Central and on an errand for my brother, so I thought I'd stop by. Aw. Uh, you what? Yeah, it's my Digi Farm. What about it? Oh, thank you. At my Digimon thinks out. What kind of odd looking. <laughs> He's called Pakubot. He wasn't adjusted well. Yeah. And I wouldn't have minded if he didn't, and he just left. Who are you? Do I know you? Oh, how rude. I guess she doesn't think so. Everyone is too nice to me. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you too, Allie. 
calm down. He's staring at her. Is he like a he's some type of a psychopath? You seem the same as Jazzy, so you must be a good person too. They're all too nice to him. Oh, watch this, guys. This is gonna get great. Uh, what's that? It's a star piece. Come on. Looks yummy. Chop! Oh! Lovely Pogumon! What a jerk! Why are people too ni nice to you again? Yeah, what have you done? That is bad, Pogumon. I'm gonna slap you right now. You're not even worth my firm. Yeah, that was a precious item to her, Pogumon. Oh, she says that. Just watch. <gasps> She's crying! Good, you made her cry and you ate a precious item. How do you feel? Yeah, you did something wrong. You just ate something that was very important to her. Oh. Stop being so biggish and nice to him! He knows what he did. Oh, try to to make yourself sound good. Okay. Oh, I guess things are all well now that he wants to go get something for Ellie. In all seriousness, guys, I know I am being unrealistically cruel to him, and I am personally only teasing. I mean... What? What? You have to make a joke in some ways, and I mean... At first, he wouldn't give us the light of day. Why do we give him the light of day? And, uh, yes, that was only an accident. Like, he did not purposely do that, and he didn't know what he was doing. Like, sometimes I like to overreact. And don't worry, if I actually ever had children or animals, I would not do that. Trust me, anyone who talks like that to animals... Okay, yes, I know... Like, technically, they're not, well, and some of them aren't even based on animal animals. But anyone who is cruel to animals in real life, they deserve the worst possible things happening to them. And I'm not kidding. Now he can digivolve to Gardromon. What I mean, what is Pugmon supposed to represent? She kind of looks like a rabbit, um, without a head. The ears, like either a rabbit or a dog, or even like some type of rabbit breed. I believe he could digivolve evolve into a rabbit area. All right, so now once I get levels up, whatever, I'm gonna digivolve evolve some of my other Digimon while I'm here. And anyone that can't digivolve yet, I'll try to add to the party for our next adventure, can We can level them up. Also, what we're going to do in the next episode is, like, that is the area that I hate to go. Packet Swamp. That, they have so many whirlpools. Like, little areas you can enter, right? Like, go through, you come out of. And that, that's what's confusing. That, I got lost in for a good while. And the first time I recorded it, I had to redo some of it. I've gotten further in some areas. Yeah, you're still Voldemort. And ironically, a bee. I also don't really care for bees either. I mean, I'm not allergic like I am to nuts, but... Alright, Finley, maybe you can Digivolve? I think you can digivolve the Metal or M. Cedramon. Yep, it's M. Cedramon, but I don't know whether it's stands for Mega or me Metal. There. Now you have Metal Gear. Or Solid Metal Gear. Okay, I'm making a joke of a game series, I know. Awesome, now, well, we're... Can't you evolve Andre? Because he's already did you evolve. 
Let's see what Henry can do. I don't think I could digivolve Henry just yet. I might have to de-digivolve him like, yeah, I am. I don't have the digi-egg for the third option there, which is the Karimon. You need a friendship digi-egg. So I might have to look, see if I could find it anywhere. I want to be able to digivolve him. I'd rather digivolve him to ultimate than digivolve him to rookie. That doesn't make as much of a difference as the ultimate does. So, wait. Let's, there's one more I think I can digivolve to. Put him into the per, put him into the farm, I mean. Alright, yes, put an Umbre farm. We don't need you right now. But I think we can digivolve. I'm gonna put you in the party. We could digivolve Bowser. We'll digivolve Bowser into one of the other ultimates. We can't digivolve him to the one I want just yet, but we are going to digivolve him into a Rukumon, which is the spider Digimon there. And hopefully he'll gain levels. He needs to be, I think, 35. So I'm gonna digivolve him to ultimate right now. There. Sweet. And keep it the name Bowser. So I think we got to add him to the party. Where we can get like the both like Henry needs to be in the party. But I'll get ready to end this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. I try to upload videos every day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Digimon World DS. I will see you guys in the next video and enjoy the ending.